Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit build a screen flow from the module screen flows. And as part of this unit challenge, we will be creating a screen flow where the screen element will ask user inputs. And once those inputs has been received by the flow, it will process and create an opportunity record by those same user inputs which have been entered by the end user on the screen element. So let's quickly implement this and see what all logic that we have to apply. You have to launch your Trailhead Playground and go to Setup. Create a new flow. Now this flow will be a screen flow. So select this first option, click on Create. This will open up the flow builder for us. Now, the very first thing that we have to do is create a formula resource, uh, which will have API name today plus 90, and this is going to be a date type. So let's just go back here, click on this toolbox icon on your top left, new resource, a resource will be a formula type, API name, I'm going to paste it over here, data type will be date, and for the formula, it has to be today plus 90 formula resource today plus 90 will store dynamically this value in this variable just click on done the next is we have to add and screen we have to add a screen element by the label of fields and in that screen element we are going to place some of the components like display text date component currency component so let's quickly just create the screen element click on this plus and add the screen element the label we are going to give out will be op fields now the very first component that we have to add on our screen element is display text so on your left hand side just search for display text you can drop this display text on your screen component api name i'll just copy it from the challenge which is requirement and it it will hold some text so i'll copy that text uh, which is mentioned in our challenge as well you must have spoken with a potential customer about the word product before creating an opportunity so i'll just go back here and paste this in this text area the next element that we have to add on our screen component is a date element or date component the label will be estimated close date so i'll just copy that go back to your screen element and here just search for date drag and drop it below your display text component label it estimated close date so this has to be required to so make this checkbox selected default value it will hold the value which was today plus 90 which we have stored in our formula variable today by the label today plus 90 no spaces so this value by default will be coming in our estimated close date date component. Then next is we have to add a currency component by the label estimated amount. So I'll just copy that as well. And we have to make sure that it shows the estimated amount up to two decimal places only. So let's just go back there and add this currency component as well. So I'll just search for currency here, drag and drop it below estimated close date, label it as estimated amount. This uh, will not be required. So we need not have to select this checkbox, but make sure your decimal places have two instead of zero. So this is what you have to do for your screen element. The next is we have to add create record element on our screen flow. The label will be create op. Let's just go back to our flow builder, click on done. Click on plus icon and add create records element. Label it as create op. How many records we are going to create? It will be only one. How to set the record fields? We have to select this use separate resources and literal values. Then uh, the object that we are going to use to create record will be of opportunity. 
and set field values for opportunity. This section is appearing over here just because we have selected this second option from how to set the record fields. We want to set some values to some of the fields of opportunity at the time of its record creation. So that's why we have used this uh, second option. Now we have to set uh, some of the fields by default here uh, at the time of its record creation. So let's just see what all fields we have to set values for. So here we have amount and close date. Amount will hold the value from the variable or the screen component, which we had added on our screen element by the label estimated amount. So if you notice over here, estimated amount, it will hold the value, whatever the user will input. So we are assigning that value to this amount field of opportunity record whenever it will be created using this flow from the screen flow. Now, if, uh, another field that we are going to set value for is close date, which will get its value from estimated close date date component, which we have added in our screen element by the label estimated close date. By default, it will show today plus 90, else a user can also change it, whatever he or she feels like. So let's just quickly set these field values as well. Go back to your flow builder. The very first field that we have to default here is amount and it will get its value from estimated amount. Add field here and select close date. This field get, will get its value from a date component, estimated close date. So select this option, then click on done. So that's all we have to implement in this flow as part of this unit's challenge. Now, the only thing left is save this flow. So I'll just copy this label from here and go back, click on save, label it. Click on save again. Now our flow is ready. So let's just see what we have developed so far in this unit's challenge. Uh, you have to go to your debug mode by clicking on this debug button. Click on run. Now, as you can see that display text is displaying the text, which we have mentioned in the component, then estimated close date is showing the default date, which is 90 days from today. And for the estimated amount, I'll put out some values and after decimal point, I'm giving up to four decimal places. So as soon as I click somewhere else on the screen, this uh, these four decimal places will be round off up to two. So right now it's 9912 and it has been round off or taken up the decimal only up to two decimal places. That's because we have mentioned in our screen component that it has to be two decimal places. So now as soon as I click on next, let's see what happens. I run into an exception. That's because we are missing the required fields on opportunity name and stage name. So both of these fields are very much required at the time of creating an opportunity record. So that's why we have failed to create the opportunity record. So right now this flow is not in proper working because this, this part is not mentioned in our challenge. And we are not going to resolve this as part of this unit challenge as well. But when we'll proceed further with other videos and other units of this module, We'll see by the end of this module that we'll have a working flow at the end of the at the end of this badge. You need not have to worry about this exception. Now the only thing left is you have to check whether you have passed this challenge or not. So click on this button. There you go. This unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.